Hello everyone. Thought I'd come on and tell you a little bit more about Dolly's story. The reason being that some people wanted to know what happened to Lily and the children. So I thought I'd come on and let you know. There's kind of two parts to this, as in some good news and some not so good news. But anyway, after a couple of weeks of Dolly going to Lily's and helping the children, bring him food, bring him some nice clothes and things like that, there was a great improvement in Lily's health. As luck would have the children, whether her immune system was good or whatever, who knows, because they were young, they didn't go down with the influenza, which was fantastic news. Lily gradually became more and more strong and was gradually able to get up and go out for quiet walks in the countryside. While she was out one day, a gentleman went past on a horse. He spoke to her in passing and nodded and asked, and inquired of her and her family. She said, oh, we're well, thank you. And he said, you, you look a little upset. So she basically told him the story of her husband, Sydney and Stanley, sorry, and the way he had drunk himself to death. And she found herself talking to this man as if she'd known him for years. She didn't really know him very well, but she'd seen him around the village. Anyway, the gentleman went off and a few days later, she received a knock at the door and there stood a young lad, looked about 15, and he said, excuse me, do you know a Mr. Collier? Mm, yes, she said, that's the gentleman I spoke to. Well, he said, Mr. Collier says, he needs to speak to you, missus. He's got something he wants to ask you. So anyway, two days later, wearing a dress that Dolly had managed to borrow from a friend, Lily, went off to eat, meet Mr. Collier. She was picked up in a small cart, horse-drawn cart, and she was taken over to Mr. Collier's farm, which was just on the outskirts of the actual village where Lily lived. When Lily got there, she was amazed to see that it was quite a rambling old house. It looked like an old farmhouse and it looked like it had been there forever, which basically it had. The, ha the house wasn't in great repair, but it was a farmhouse and the master of the house, he would make sure that everything was clean before they went into the house, but he didn't do any cleaning while he was in. And the reason for that was that sadly, only three months before, Mr. Collier's hus wife had passed away with influenza and one of his elder sons. He was now left with three children a nine-year-old, ten-year-old and a twelve-year-old who needed a mother. You might have guessed where this story is going. But Lily sat and waited to be spoken to. He explained that it's many a man that has married for solely the reason of having someone to care for their children. You're a comely woman. You're not unattractive. I'm not an old man, he said, and I'm not unattractive myself. He said, this of course will just be a marriage of convenience. She stopped and looked at him. Are you proposing to me? She said. We've only met once. I've asked after you, he said. I know you're a clean, good woman, good, clean woman, with good, healthy body and mind he quickly went on. I don't know what he was suggesting, but I think she thought, he's admiring me. Must be me bustle, she thought to herself. Well, she said, I think I'll think about it. She went home, she thought about it. And she went back the next day and said that yes, she would take up the kind offer. So within a few weeks, Lily, her five children, her new husband and his three children were all living very happily in the very large rambling house. She grew to love him and he grew to love her and all the children accepted each other as brothers and sisters and they grew up to be a well-rounded, loved, informed family. They knew that you didn't have to be kin to love somebody and to bring them up because Lily loved every one of the children, her own and theirs. She never ever thought of them as anything different after that. They was always our children. And our children it was. And that is how Lily 
got herself sorted and got herself moved into a comfortable, loving home. Now obviously the sad part of it, as I said, was that Lily and him did try for children, but sadly it was never to be. She had a couple of miscarriages. She was on the older end of 30, so now it wasn't to be. But it made no difference to them. They loved the children they got, and as I said, they grew to love each other, and they were happy, and they were hard working people. He had staff out on the land, and she had one maid that came once a week just to help her out, to keep the place clean. She was always good to her maid, because she had once cleaned for other people and for big houses, and she always, always treated her with respect. So now you see, that's Lily sorted, and now Dolly will have to get back to doing her own chores, maybe going and visiting the farm occasionally for tea. Who knows? But anyway, thank you so much for listening. I'll tell you a bit more as soon as I can. Bye.